Video dropped in Discord, so let's watch it. So, you got some new Star Wars content for me? Yes, sir, I do. And in this one, we're going to be following... Hold on. Does anybody else hear Emperor's New Groove right here watching this? My shoulder angel. Don't listen to that guy. He's trying to lead you down the path of righteousness. I'm going to lead you down the path that rocks. <laughs> like, that's, that's the immediate thing that I heard. Following OSHA. Amazing. Occupational safety is very important. Right, but also that's her name, and she's going to be falsely accused of a crime. What's the crime? Well, her sister may... OSHA violations. Be in a world of OSHA violations. <laughs> He's gonna have this big old fight against a Jedi named Indara, who I figure we could get Carrie Ann Moss to play. Trinity? Oh boy, that'll be a big draw for the show. So what does she do? <laughs> ah, die immediately. Okay. <laughs> Yes, that was... Yes, why? Hey, well, I'm still gonna pretend like she's a main character when we promote the show. Sounds like a good idea. So since May and Osha look exactly alike and everybody thinks May is dead, Osha gets blamed. Was she nearby? Not even a little bit. She was off putting out space fires, but a bartender oh saw her, gosh. so... Space fires? Fires in space, that's right. So she gets arrested and put on a prisoner ship piloted by robots. They think she killed a Jedi, so they put her on an unmanned ship? That's what... Oh... My gosh, this this immediately. I mean, we're we're 52 seconds in and it's already pointing out all of the horrible writing in this movie or this TV show or going with. So this ship ends up crashing and then she reunites with her old Jedi master soul. OK, and she explains to him like, hey, I think my sister might be alive. But he's like, no, I watched her die. Yeah, Sounds like there's some history between these two. Oh, there sure is, sir. That's the whole basis of the show. But to explain that, we're going to have to go back 16 years. Uh, I don't know how to do that. Yeah, no, don't worry. I'll just tell you what happened. OK, yeah, that's better for me. <laughs> Yes, that that is movies now. They're just going to tell you what happens rather than like actually like show but not tell. You know, it's uh. hey. so Osha and May were raised by a bunch of space witches, and May wants to become a space witch, but Osha doesn't really wanna. There are career paths other than space witch, sure. So then they're having this big ceremony to become space witches, and they do this little chant. A chant? Yeah, they're like the power of one, the power of two, <laughs> the power of many. <laughs> Like, <laughs> so anyway, then Soul and some other Jedi show up, and oh they maybe want to train these kids to become Jedi because they have a high M count. M count, you mean? And, and let's not talk about the Wookiee using a freaking radar, like metal detector, to try to figure out what's going on with the Force. Midichlorians. Well, yes, but people made fun of that, so now I'm scared to say it out loud. Fair enough. So they do some tests on these girls, but then this Padawan really wants to go home, so he rushes back to the temple confrontationally. Yeah, makes, makes zero sense, by the way. Zero sense. That's his motivation. He wants to leave ASAP. He doesn't like the food he's currently eating, so he risks and ruins everything. Understandable, I guess. So what happens? Well, the mother witch turns into a big, scary smoke monster, so Soul kills her with a lightsaber. Close one. How do you kill a smoke monster with a lightsaber is what I want to know. Actually, Anyways. no, he shouldn't have, because she's like, I was going to let Osha go become a Jedi. She probably shouldn't have changed into a scary monster then. Yeah, well, if there's Bingo. no miscommunication in this show, then there is no show. Oh, interesting storytelling technique. So then all the <laughs> witches get together and possess this Wookiee Jedi. But when Trinity breaks that possession, all the witches die. Why? Because I need all the witches to die. That works. And also, May is mad that Osha didn't want to become a space witch, so she starts a little fire and locks all the doors. Sounds like an Osha violation for sure. Yeah, <laughs> said the same thing I said. <laughs> This place is made of stone, oh so the fire spreads quickly. What? And Jeez. then Soul finds himself in the situation where each sister is standing on a collapsing platform, and his force lift isn't strong enough for both platforms, so he just saves. Which doesn't make sense to me. You have an ultra powerful Jedi in the High Republic era, and he can't hold up two sides of a bridge. Make it make sense. OSHA. Why not force lift the girls instead of the platforms they're on? Hey, shut up. And so that crazy night sets the stage for this whole story. Wow. Well, that's going to be a pretty intense show intro for sure. Oh, no. What I just described is a mystery spread out over multiple episodes. Uh, stretching things out is tight. Paradoxically, yes. So then what? Exactly. Exactly why 
this TV show sucked. Happens. Well, because of that night, 16 years later, May is killing the Jedi involved with that, and she's working with this guy, Kai Mir. Okay. And also, there seems to be a Sith lurking around, but we don't know who he is. Is it Kai Mir? I mean, who else would it be? Yep, that's a good point. I'm still gonna drop it as a big reveal several episodes in, okay? Sure, sounds good. So this guy really wants May to kill a Jedi without using a weapon. How come? He thinks that would be a pretty cool little dark side challenge. That does sound pretty cool. Then one day, he goes nuts and kills practically all the Jedi that Osha was rolling with. Oh, my God. And in all that chaos, Osha and May switch places. Oh, they do? Yeah, and it looks like May is gonna stab Soul, but then she doesn't. Why not? Yeah, because she yep. doesn't want it anymore, you know? Who's to say why... This is, <laughs> this, this. Characters do what they do. You. Can you imagine? That'd be nuts. Well, ho, oh, oh, oh. Anyway, meanwhile, Osha is hanging out with Kaimir the Sith. Hanging out? Yeah, she follows him around. He takes his clothes off. <laughs> like, why would you do this? Why? Why? Off shows her his sarlacc pit. Oh my god. So now that he murdered all her friends and flashed her his space junk, she's kind of into what he has to say about yep. the dark side. Okay. But then she puts on his cool helmet and gets a vision of where May is. Oh, she does. Yeah, because the season's almost over and I need them to reunite, so she just has a vision of where to go next. Nice. So all the characters end up on that witchy planet where this whole thing started. It's like poetry, it rhymes. It's like poetry, yeah. it rhymes. That's right. Yeah. So there's going to be a big showdown between Chimere and Soul, and then also between May and O. Osha. Very exciting. And then Osha's gonna find out that Soul killed their mom, so she wants to kill him. Well, it's gonna oh, be yes. tough for her to kill an experienced Jedi Master. Actually, it's gonna be super easy. Barely an inconvenience. Just, oh, yeah. really? Yeah, because now that she's angry, she can do dark side stuff, so she force chokes him to death. So he doesn't explain that her mom had turned into a scary smoke monster? No, because proper... Yeah. Yeah communication would get in the way of the story I'm trying to tell. Right, okay, keep going. So there's no soul. Nope. And then also that guy died. What? So then what happens? Well, then Osha agrees to train with Kaimir and let him show her the dark side. Oh, he flashes her again? No, like the dark side of the force. Oh, okay. And then he wipes May's memory, which is a thing he can do. Why? So she can't remember. But and then a green lady blames everything on soul and we're done. So what do you think? Mm, it's okay. I just feel like it's missing something. It yeah, like, it's it's missing an actual, like, story that everyone can comprehend and follow along and actually is an interesting, interesting story. It doesn't paint the Jedi as little wimps. Like, come on, man. It is, isn't it? What key ingredient we missing here? Oh, I got it. You know what it is? We got to do that thing. You know that thing where we sprinkle in glimpses of established characters and selectively recycle content we own as if that were a way to sustain long-term engagement? Right, that's what it is. I'll toss a few cameos in at the end. Great, that'll yeah. keep the brand alive. Yep. <laughs> Hi, this is Ryan George from The Thing You Just Watched. Please enjoy the... Dude, that was freaking awesome. That was awesome. That was a pitch meeting. Go check them out on YouTube, man. That was, that was fantastic. Let me know in the comments what you think, guys. Make sure to like and subscribe, or we will execute Order 66. Order check out 66. our other videos on the screen as well. Yes, my lord. Oh, my God.